All right, I'm hooked up to a Detroit Diesel Freightliner sleeper, and it has an active code. It doesn't show up in the dash, but when you hook up a diagnostic link, this active code pops up that says that a sub bus switch is missing. Now, if you try to um, get some information about this code, it, it really doesn't give you anything from this screen. You open it up, it doesn't tell you which switch it is <clears throat> or any troubleshooting steps. If you hit troubleshoot symptoms, it, it really doesn't do anything for you. So I'm going to show you how to find out which subbus switch it is and, um, and so that you can locate it and replace it or see what's wrong. So if you go over here to the left side of the screen under instrumentation, it's going to bring you to this page. And you have several tabs up here. The one that you want to click on is the one that says MSF Subbus Switches. Click on the Subbus Switches, and it's going to bring you to this page. Now, this gives you the list of all your Subbus Switches and, and their current position or condition not pressed, pressed, hardwired, whatever. As you can see, the upper sleeper lamp bunk Subbus switch is highlighted blue down here it gives you the list showing that it's missing now if I go back into the sleeper cab and, and look at that upper lamp I bet you that the, the switch is there but the switch is just bad and so that's how you can identify the switch second thing is, is sometimes um, you'll have a switch in here that is not supposed to be in here and it'll come up as missing or extra or something and you can actually change um, that switch to being either used or not used under parameters. If you go under parameters and underneath the MSF subbus switches, you can you can change its um, utility to unavailable, and then it will stop throwing that code. So I'm gonna switch out this sleeper lamp switch, and that should uh, clear the fault code. And just so you guys could see what uh, the sub bus switch is and, and that it's there and that it's showing missing is that this is the sub bus switch that it's saying is missing. Obviously it's here. When I press it, nothing happens. So this switch is bad. I'm going to replace this rear sleeper dome switch.